Weather News Meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. We're going to go down on Main Street in Girard, U.S. Highway 20, Bob Ferrando, Ford World Cam, and just a wet street. Uh, cars moving by at rush hour, gas still at 2.7. I don't think that's sense. But uh, anyway, uh, let's take a break. I mean, it's a cold winter's day in some areas, a lot milder in others. It's cloudy, it's damp, it's dank. But there's some beauty in Mother Nature here in uh, Pima Tuning Reservoir, thanks to James Scott for getting us those pretty pictures in the middle of winter. Now, it's a mess on the radar, but it's nothing hazardous. We've got some rain moving through. In colder locations, we've got some embedded uh, wet snowflakes, and that will tend to be the trend as we go through the night. Actually, all of it will probably be over by midnight, so it's kind of like rain to wet snow over. Uh, 49 today for our high end. <laughs> that is 15 degrees above normal. The low, 37. That's higher than the average low temperature, uh, or the average high temperature, I should say. So a very mild day. And again, some light rain moving across parts of the area. Not a whole lot of rain or snow expected. Uh, daylight is stretching almost nine and a half hours. So Tomorrow is more of a break day. There could be a rain or snow shower, but mainly rain and snow free. Now it gets windy tomorrow night, and you get some steadier snow into early Sunday morning, but it doesn't look like a whole lot. And then next week, snow showers around, but no huge amounts expected at this point. So you're still near 40 from northeast to East Springfield. You're dropping into the mid-30s through Union City and Edinburgh. And as you continue down, uh, still upper 30s to near 40 across Crawford County and uh, out to the east. This is why it's still in the liquid form. Temperatures 37, a common number uh, in that area. So it's too warm for snow yet, but the snow we will get as this front goes by is just going to be very light and uh, going away. So we're just transitioning. This is the main thing for the seven day. You're transitioning from mild to back to normal temperatures. Now, as uh, far as what's going to happen, I'm going to give you a peek of what's going to happen the last week in January. See this pink stuff? Pink means very cold and arms of this just continue to, you know, flirt and move closer to us for the last week in January. So Next week, or the next seven days, normal temperatures, some snow. Last week, colder temperatures, and we'll figure out the snow when we get here. So as we said tonight, it all goes away after midnight. As we uh, go on into tomorrow, some nuisance flakes and drops in the afternoon. Tomorrow night, it starts to line up a little bit into Sunday morning. And you just see a circulation of cooler air and off and on rain showers as you go into early next week. So tonight along the lake shore, Rain showers now going to wet snow and ending by midnight, lows near freezing by morning. Southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, and Venango, rain to mix to snow up to an inch, 25 to 30. Jamestown, Warren, Tyanesta in the mountains, same deal. Rain to snow around an inch possible, 24 to 28. As we said, tomorrow there may even be a little bit of sun, scattered rain or snow shower in the afternoon, 33 to 39. For tomorrow night, Late at night, we get some more snow showers, coating to an inch in Erie, maybe one to three inches in the snow belts by Sunday. Then that goes away, and you can see the temperatures drop down. Monday and Tuesday, snow showers likely, some nuisance flakes Wednesday, maybe even a little bit of rain Thursday before it starts to drop again into that next and last week of January. That is weather for now.